you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your maxi booboo dress this is not like your regular maxi dress because we have our net which is going to be attached at the upper part and for our lower parts we're making use of our african prints as you can see on the thumbnail now don't forget to join us on facebook city designs on instagram city designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so we have our shoulder measurements which is 14 so we have 14 divided by 2 we have 7 plus 1 inches for our sewing allowance we have 8 inches our bust is 38 so 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 9.5. Our hip is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 12 inches. Our gown length is 58. 58 plus 2, we have 60 inches. Now, these are your regular measurements in which we are going to use to achieve our maxi dress. But this form of maxi dress is totally different from your regular maxi dress. This form of maxi dress is totally different from your regular maxi dress. Of course, you are going to make use of your bust measurements, your bust measurements, your waist and your hip measurements. But for the lower part of our dress, which is African print, we are going to be adding inches to your measurements. And most times, with most women, the hip measurement is usually the biggest part of the body. However, if the largest part of your body is your bust measurement, then you go ahead and make use of your bust measurements. If the largest part of your measurement is your waist, go ahead and make use of your waist measurements. But for most people, the hip is usually the largest part of their body so I'm going to make use of my hip measurement which is 40 inches now you are not going to cut out your exact hip measurements and this is because you are going to gather this up to fit into your upper bodies now our hip measurement is 40 go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by 2 okay multiply your hip measurement by 2 so 40 multiplied by 2 we have 80 inches we have 80 inches so the wideness of the amount of fabric we will need for the wideness especially for the lower part which happens to be our african prints will make use of 80 inches because we've gone ahead now to multiply our hip measurements and we need so much fabric to pleat in order for it to gather up at the upper part and the more free it is the more beautiful your dress or your maxi effect actually comes out so our hip measurement now is 80 inches we are going to make it of 80 inches to achieve this style don't worry you are going to understand and in the course of this video if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or you have any topic you want us to make a video on if you have any topic you want us to make a video on please feel free and drop it in the comment section and don't forget to visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website trainings are available both online training and physical training and all the details are going to be in the description box below so for the wideness of our fabric now we are going to make use of 80 inches for the wideness especially for your african prints while for the upper part where we have our net we are going to make use of our shoulder measurements and that is why we did not add anything to our shoulder measurements so i hope you guys enjoyed this video now another thing you also need to take note of is your round sleeve okay is your round sleeve your round sleeve measurement is needed in this style okay your round sleeve measurement is needed so my round sleeve is 12 12 divided by 2 i have 6 plus 2 inches i have 8 inches so my round sleeve now my round sleeve is going to be 8 inches that is 12 divided by 2 plus 2 so whatever you have for your round sleeve go ahead and divide it by 2 and then you add 2 inches to it so don't forget to include your round sleeve measurement when getting your measurements so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial I want to make um this maxi dress so i'm making use of this african print 
and i'm making use of this net for the upper part okay because we are mixing both the net and the main fabric as you can see on this i'm going to be making use of my net right which we are using for the upper bodies and then we have this african print for the lower body now what we are going to do now is very simple so for our net i went ahead to fold it into four okay and i just laid it well because you know net like you have to be very careful so that it doesn't shift so fold your net into four which is the upper part and for the lower part also we'll go ahead and fold our fabric into four now once you fold your fabric into four both your upper bodies where you have your net and then the lower part where you have your fabric the first thing you are going to do is to determine where you want your net to get up to right so you determine where you want your net to get up to now and in order for you to determine where you want your net to get up to i'm going to go ahead now and draft the upper bodies together with this lower part so that you guys will have a better understanding of what i mean okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead now and place my African print on it this way, right? So that it will look like a continuation. Like if you are using a single piece so that it can serve as a single piece so that you guys will be able to understand it better. So you go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurements, right? Our shoulder measurements is 7 inches. We go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements. I don't know if it's showing, it's showing on the net, but let me use another fabric to cut out what I mean for this upper bodies. But note that you are basically going to use your net, but I don't know if the net is showing clearly on the camera. So I'll go ahead and use another fabric for this upper part and cut it out so that you guys will be able to see it clearly. So guys, because I'm not sure if my net is showing right if the markings on the net is showing and i don't want to like risk it so i'll go ahead now and use this fabric right for the upper part and the main reason why i'm using this fabric but when i want to cut it out i'm going to cut it out on my net but for this tutorial i'll i have to place this fabric here and the reason why i'm placing this fabric is that so that you guys will be able to differentiate where you are where you have your net and where you have your african print but if you are cutting yours you basically just cut it directly on the net so that's it so the first thing we are going to do now is that we've gone ahead now to fold our fabric into four now after folding your fabric into four you go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement so our shoulder measurement is seven inches i'll go ahead and mark seven inches for my shoulder at least i'm sure that the markings is showing on this you've marked your shoulder measurements so from your shoulder measurements now you go ahead and mark your arm o right what you have for your arm o so what i have for my arm o is nine inches what i have for my arm o is nine inches right this is basically what you have now you go ahead now and mark your neckline our neckline is three inches by one or two inches depending on how high you want it to be or how deep you want your neckline to be so i made it of three inches by two now this is where you have your arm o what you are going to do now basically is you are going to go ahead now and connect your neckline to your arm o line you are going to connect your neckline to your arm o line and when you want to connect that you are basically going to get draw your curve this way you can see what we have we are just going to draw our curve like you are connecting your neckline to your arm o now because this is our arm o in order for you to determine where your net is going to get up to where your net is going to get up to so just go ahead now from your arm o go ahead and mark one inch or two inches let's make it of two inches to serve as our sewing allowance right two inches by the time we are done attaching with one inch at this lower part okay what we have left is just one inch after your arm o now we'll go ahead now and cut this out at this point this is where we have your half length 
and your fabric that is where you have your African print now we start from this point your African print now we start from this point okay your African print will start from this point so this is basically what we have so for your the next thing you are going to do now is you've gone ahead now to connect this so from your arm or you go ahead now and mark your round sleeve measurements you go ahead now and mark your round sleeve measurements you go ahead and mark your round sleeve measurements so this is where it's going to stop so you mark your round sleeve measurements and my round sleeve is six plus my sewing allowance i have eight inches now i'm going to mark nine and a half inches i'm going to mark nine and a half inches and the reason why i i'm i'm marking nine and a half inches is because don't forget that we have one inch at this point for our sewing allowance and we're also going to take away one inch also at this point so my eight inches now plus the half inch we are going to take away from this point and our sewing allowance so i have nine and a half inches but if you are going to take away one inch from this point you go ahead and add one inch and then you have 10 inches i don't know if you guys understand but please drop your questions in the comment section if you are not clear so this is basically what we have now and you will also discover that the fabric for the lower side is more than what we have for this upper part and this is because for the lower side now we are going to gather it up we are basically going to gather this up right for the lower part so that it will fit into what we have for our net now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and draw our arm o is to go ahead now and get your arm o so you go ahead now and get your arm o place this lower part of your place the lower the ending part of your african print to the ending part of of your net because by the time you gather this up what you have here is going to fit into your net so once you are done now you basically go ahead and connect your arm o and your arm o you are going to have it in a c shape you are just going to cut out a c shape and this C shape basically enables you to get your arm or like just fit in your arm. So you just go ahead now and cut it out just like the way you have your normal arm O, right? So you just go ahead now and draw your arm O at this point. So let me just come again so that I'll be sure you guys understand better. Now this upper part is our net and this lower part is our fabric. But because of clarity of this video, I made use of another fabric to show you guys what it looks like. Now what we are going to do now is you go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements. Our shoulder measurement is 7 inches. From your shoulder measurements, go ahead and mark your arm o, right? Basically the way you do for your basic top, you go ahead and mark your arm o. Once you have your arm o, you also go ahead and mark your neckline 3 inches by 2 or you can use 3 inches by 5, depending on what you want for your neckline. So once you are done now, go ahead and connect your neckline to your arm o line. Connect your neckline to your arm o line. Now from this, your arm o line you go ahead and get your round sleeve and our round sleeve is eight inches but i went ahead to mark 9.5 to 10 inches this is because we have one inch at this next part as our sewing allowance which we are going to attach it to this other part and then we also have one inch at this part right so by the time you are done with your one inch allowance for your net and one inch allowance i'm going to have my eight inches for my round sleeve so this is basically what we have so at this point now you now go ahead and draw your arm o but your arm o should be like a c shape right what should you should have for your arm o is like a c shape this way so from this point now you can see that we have SS at this lower part. The lower part is more than the upper part where we have our net. So at this part now, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it all the way down. We are not making use of... So just go ahead and connect it all the way down. Now you will discover that what we have is more than our hip measurements. We added so much... Um, we added many inches to your hip measurements. And the number of inches you add to your hip measurements totally depends on how full this part is going to be so just gone ahead now to mark it back on my net and by the time we open this up this is what we are going to have so you can see that we have our neckline and then you have this part coming 
this way not like your regular booboo -boo dress where you should have your arm o at this part but rather your arm o is at the lower side so now you can see that the two inch the one inch we added for our allowances at this point so by the time you place your upper bodies this way by the time you place your lower bodies rather this way you also discover that it continues like this can you guys see it so you have your arm o coming this way right and then you have where you have your round sleeve this way so you will see that it continues because we've added the one inch allowance to this part so don't forget to add your one inch allowance because you're basically going to be attaching your upper side to your lower side so that you don't have your measurement being short and also consider adding your one inch allowance or half inch allowance also to the lower part so by the time you place it on each other now you can see what it looks like you can see that you have your shape and then you have your sleeve length where you are going to fix in your sleeve so this is basically what it looks like and for the neckline you can decide that okay for the neckline you can decide that you want it to be a turtle neck or a round neck most people some people don't like turtle neck so you can determine that you want to have turtle neck you can determine that you want to have a round neck it certainly depends on what you have what you want for your neckline and this is basically what it looks like so in order for us to stitch this now there are two ways um, in which you are going to achieve this because you are making use of nets you can go ahead and line your nets with maybe bias or you go ahead and double your net so once you double your nets advantage of doubling your nets is that it makes it more neat right so what i mean by that is this if you want to double your net if that is the method you want to use to achieve this now these two pieces is going to serve as the front block these two pieces will serve as the front block so it means that you're going to have four pieces two for the front block and two for the back block if you want to use your net to turn it up and what that simply means now is that you go ahead and place this so these two pieces now will serve as the front block and then you cut out another two pieces for your back block so you go ahead now and place it this way you go ahead and place your net on each other go ahead and stitch your neckline after stitching your neckline you go ahead and stitch what you have at this edge you go ahead and stitch this edge edge all the way down and you also go ahead and stitch this edge all the way down so the only part you are not going to stitch is this lower part we are not stitching this lower part and then you will use this lower part to turn it up for this lower part don't forget that we added so much to it and that is why it's bigger than the upper bodies right so what we are going to do now is in order for you to know the amount of inches you are going to use to gather this up you are basically going to be true with your upper bodies right you are basically going to place your upper bodies this way when i mean upper bodies i mean where you have your necks right and the lower body simply means like your african print so you go ahead now and place it this way so i'm going to go ahead now and just open this which you can achieve this looking at the thumbnail what you did at the thumbnail if what you want to achieve is at the thumbnail you go ahead and place it on your net you go ahead and place it on your net just like the way you have your caribbean um just like when you have your caribbean gown and if you haven't watched my video on how to make your caribbean gown i'm going to put down the link in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out after watching this video so two ways now to couple up your lower bodies and your upper bodies together is you can place your african prints on your neck this way and then you pleat on top of it like on top of it this way so you have this on top you are basically sewing on top of your net that is the first method the second method in case if you don't want that but that is this is what i'm going to use i'm going to basically just place on my net but if you don't want that you can go ahead and place your net this way place your net this way and then you pleat it and you turn it so you're still going to have the same result the only that same method that is you turn the net with your african prints but you want to have pleats i don't know if the camera is showing it but if you want to place your net on it but you want to have pleats 
you can see what it looks like let me zoom it in you can see what we have you can see that it is placed on it but you still have your pleating and this is what it looks like you can see what it basically looks like that is if you want to turn your net with your african prints but you still want to have pleating so that is another way so you so you will discover that what you have here for your front block this is when it's turned with african print but you have your pleats please stick to one so if you if you start with pleating on the net that's why i'm going to use all true okay now you discover that for this part now we placed it on it can you see okay so can you see what it looks like the african print is placed on so you can see what it looks like now the african print is placed on the net and then you pleat it you can see that it is pleated on your net and this is what you have just like the thumbnail so whichever one you prefer whichever one you prefer it totally depends on you so John, the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this side with this now you can see that the shape of your dress is out already so go ahead now and stitch this side once you are done this is where you have your arm hole or your sleeve this is where we have our sleeve or arm hole so you're not going to stitch this part so you basically stitch your where you have like your shoulder line up to this point now where you left for your round sleeve you go ahead and leave that open because this is where your sleeve or your hands are going to pass through so once you leave that open now you go ahead now and stitch from after it all the way to your gown length so you go ahead and stitch this all the way to your gown length now for this part where you have your sleeve or your round sleeve you just go ahead and aim it okay so you just go ahead and fold it inside and aim it separately okay so you can either aim it with a bias or you just stop stitch on it so this is where your sleeve is you've gone ahead now to attach your shoulders together and then you've coupled this up so basically for the upper part now so guys rich anti vibes we have rich anti vibes dress <laughs> So we've gone ahead now to attach our net to the African print and this is what it looks like. So once you are done joining your shoulders, attaching it, you can see where we have our sleeve which is opened and then you just go ahead and aim it and this is what it looks like. So this is actually dressed for rich auntie vibes, rich mom vibes. <laughs> Anyways, and then all the way down, you can see how it flows and the pleating all the way down. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So go ahead and choose any of the methods you prefer to attach your African prints to your net. It totally depends on you, but make sure it has pleating. When it has pleating, it makes it more full. And then the lower parts can just have like this curve. Or this split effects at the lower part that is if when you're attaching yours you added pleats to the upper parts right so the lower parts will just give you this wave and this is what it looks like feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and then i'll see you guys in my next one bye